And we back. Today we're combining role players to, to potentially make the greatest player of all time. Now I decided to do this differently. Uh, in the previous years, I would create one guy, just one, and follow his career. With well, today, we have a point guard, a small four, and a center. Three people, one draft class. The criteria is simple. The players that we combined had to be 77 overall or below, and they had to play close positions. I could have combined a center with a point guard. No, they had to be point guard, point guard, small four, small four, whatever, whatever. Okay? So let me introduce you to the three players that we created. Starting off with Andrew Pope. This is Andrew Wiggins and, and Catavius Caldwell Pope put together. You're like, Kenny, they don't play the same position. They're both wings, all right? Shooting guard, small forward, they, they're both wings, okay? Uh, you, Air Force, salute them, I guess. I, I didn't change. <laughs> I didn't change what college you went to. Um, they're comparing an Vince Carter or Larry Nance Sr. In college, he averaged 27, uh, 7 rebounds, 4.5 assists, which is way higher. When you can think about KCP and Wiggins, you're not thinking about assists and stuff. You're thinking about, th th this is my rationale. I wanted somebody that could really shoot, Kentavious with Caldwell Pope, and I wanted somebody that can be super athletic, that's Wiggins. Wiggins right now in the game in 2K is a 76-7 rough season, but a lot of his badges and stuff still carry, so you're going to see when he drafts, he's going to have a lot of badges. The second guy we created is TJ Thompson. This is TJ McConnell and Amin Thompson. Can you imagine Amin Thompson with, with his freaky athleticism if he had great shooting and scoring like TJ McConnell? Can you imagine TJ McConnell if he can dunk the basketball and play? Now, TJ McConnell, McConnell is already a good defender, but like elite level defense like this guy, he might be the fa my favorite player that we created. Just look at this. A plus on so many different things. He even got the A-plus athleticism. He's 6'5 as a point guard. Like, what, what more can you want from a player? And then lastly, we got Nick Bryant. It's, it was hard to do the centers, man. I want to try to find a center that can shoot. That would be Thomas Bryant and a guy that's like a rim runner, runner rebound, and defender, and that's Nick Richards. I don't love this player, but he might end up being better than all of them once it's all said and done. Who really knows? You know, he's got some A-plus stuff. You know, we'll see. We'll see. We already went through the NBA lottery, and the Spurs got the first pick, then the Magic, then the Minnesota Timberwolves didn't make the playoffs. Don't ask me. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? It my, my simulation. Uh, so let's see. Because there's also some other really good players in this draft class of auto-generated class that might get drafted before them. The first overall pick, the team up of Victor Wimbanyama, is going to be Mr. Pope. All right, I'm here for that. I'm here for that. Okay, okay, okay. Wimby got his little co-star. Next, the Orlando Magic are going to take the point guard, TJ Thompson. So, Paolo, Franz, and TJ Thompson. Sounds pretty good to me. Sounds pretty good to me. And then Nick Bryant, they don't need more bigs in Minnesota, but they got another one. What can I say? All right, so there it goes. There's our three players drafted. And yeah, so it's 83, 83, 82. I think that's pretty good. 26 badges on Pope, 17 badges on uh, Thompson, and only seven badges on Nick Bryant. It's, again, the center's just tough, man. It really is. I do not like the fact that Nick got drafted to Minnesota. They just have Nas Reed, Rudy Gobert, and Carl Anthony Towns. How is he going to find minutes? I don't know. The starter lineup for the Orlando Magic is TJ. It sucks. It's, for, oh, what a T. They even got Malik Monk coming off the bench now. Okay, all right. I like it. I like it. They even get. Oh, I thought that was Andrew. I was gonna say, did they get Andrew? No, they got Aaron. Your Spurs has Trey Jones. It's gonna have a sale. It's gonna have Pope, Wimby, and then Dario. Hmm. I don't love it. What we will do is make Wimby that center. In real life, he started to play center a lot more, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna have Jeremy be a power forward. And now we have like a really good lineup. Now, look at that. Yeah, that's a, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. They're starting him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They traded Rudy Gobert for Fred VanVleet. They traded Rudy Gobert for Fred VanVleet last season. So, we ain't got to worry about the center rotation. It is still a lot of them. But at least we know our guy, Nick, is starting right there. That's perfect. Okay. First game of Nick's career is a loss. But in this game, he ended up with 14, 8, 3 blocks. He shot 1 for 6 and 3. That's not ideal. But we know he can shoot. Hope's first game was 15, 5, 4 blocks. He do not have no crazy block rating. So that's surprising to me. Two steals and A assists. Again, you're not, that's not a player that you look at to pass the ball. Think about the two players we combined. He's there to get buckets and dunk on people. And then seven turnovers in the rookie's debut. That's not ideal. But, but, did hit some three-point shots. Was he fishing from the field? You know? I, again, I'm really excited about TJ Thompson's future. I think I think he could be I think he could be one of them ones. Look at that. Almost a triple-double in his first game. Now, he's a high turnover guy so far. We don't love that. 
but let's let's simulate to like the halfway point in the first year let's take a quick look at our rookie class so uh probably whoa i was gonna say probably leading the way is tj but then again nick is having a good year too but tj's averaging 18 5 and six and a half a steal no he's definitely leading the way 50 38 and 80 oh no no this guy's a stud he's a stud rookie season those are your numbers then we also get pope here averaging 16 5 and 2 What's your three-point rate? And that's what we're here for. Only a 36%. Um, not ideal, but okay. That's fine. That's fine. And then there's Nick, who eventually lost his starting spot. So that's not ideal. He hasn't started every game. It was the same thing with these guys, I guess. I don't know what's going on. You start some, you don't start the others. But we do get 15 to 10 with about two blocks. That's pretty good. And the three-point shooting is, whoa, that's not great. 29%. Ugh, ugh. Uh, that's fine though. That's fine. You know any of these teams competed for playoff spots I'm assuming that the magic are I would be wrong. They're the 11th seed. Okay. What about Wimby and company? They are not and neither of the Timberwolves are 14 and 40 Wow, this team should be good enough to make a run bro 14 and 40 is insane. I don't care what you say. No injuries either So you can't even say that and then the Spurs are the 12th seed a game and they're only a game and a half out so maybe it's possible Wimby I need you to be better than 19 to 10 what are you doing all right so that's fine that's fine none of our guys may make the playoffs the first year York wins another MVP and there's our guy TJ pretty ridiculous season if you ask me so shout out to TJ um Bones Highland was most approved that is a player that I wanted to make the point guard I mean he's up to an 81 right now but in real life I think he's like a 77 so he would have fit but, but yeah he had a he had a very good jump very big jump um, clutch player here also is yoked. I'm assuming that all of our guys made all rookie teams. They're one, two, and three. So that's dope. That's dope. They were compete with each other. Nick ended up averaging. Oh, he couldn't average the double double. His three point rating did go up, or his three point percentage it was at 29 percent now to 32 percent. And then Pope, these are his stats: 37 percent. So even his three pointer went up. I'm excited to see what progression looks like for these guys. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a play in game. We got a play in game. Wimby and Pope versus Swartel, Stephen Curry and company. Can they win? The answer is probably no. Um, but Pope did his part. I guess that's all we care about. Season one's wrap, rookie season's wrap. I'm here for player progression over everything. Plus five from Mr. Pope. He's got new badges. He's now a good playmaker. Don't sleep on Kenny Pope. I'm, I called him Kenny Pope. Uh, 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 Wiggins Pope. Yeah, Wiggins Pope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus three. Um, that's weird. Why is Carthony Towns below him with an, I don't know, plus three for, for Nick. He now has an A plus three point rate and he now defends a little bit better. 18 badges, two way, three level glass cleaner. That sounds pretty dope. And the man of the hour. Come on, man. Come on. Man. Oh, Franz has plateaued at 85. Well, Paolo and TJ are going to be the duo of the future. And at a now, Vucci main is back in Orlando on a one-year deal, so that's kind of funny. Uh, but look at the team. This is a playoff team, bro. At least it should be. It should be a playoff team. If TJ's going to do the things I think TJ could do, Paolo, Vooch is back. That's an automatic boost. Playoff team. Did I mention that this was a race to a championship or a major award between the three players? I think I should have mentioned that in the beginning. Either way, here are all the awards. Uh, none of our guys. Cam average 22 in Chicago. That's kind of interesting. None of our guys are going to make all NBA is, 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 or anything like that. It's year number two for them. All defensive team is a possibility, and it does happen for Nick Bryant. Your number two, Nick, was crazy. 20 and 12. Yes, we ran it up in two and a half blocks. Two, two um, assists, a steal. Almost. Man, hey. He's him. Yeah. It's official. It's official, official. It's official, official, official. He's him. Um, Grady finally started to get minutes as an NBA player. He makes an all-rookie team. And that's it. All right, all right. Let's go look at the other guys. I don't even want to see who made the playoffs or who did it. Pope, 17, four, and two and a half. All right. Oh, that three-point percentage, y'all. The overall efficiency went way up. So shout out to Mr. Mr. Pope. What's your career high at this point? 39. All right, 39 year rookie season, 32 this year. RJ had a 61 point game. Shout out to RJ Bear. And let's see my guy, TJ. What did you do this year? I thought he wasn't on the team. He's at the top of the list. Look out, Paolo. Look out, Franz. Because TJ Thompson is the guy. He averaged 28 and 6. 50, 40, almost 90 club. Like, that's like all star numbers. That's all star numbers to me, especially if they end up making the playoffs, which. They did. They're the four seed. We got the Spurs as the five seed, and the Wolves did not make it. But two of our three teams, or th two of our three players, are in the playoffs currently. Yo, 
They here. They here. Now, imagine one of them wins the championship and this video ends in year number two. I doubt it, but it's possible. So, let's start off here where we see Darius Garland versus TJ. I like that matchup. Um, Jared Allen is gone, but now Kuzma and Christian Wood are on the Cavaliers. So, very interesting team. They end up winning game one behind TJ not shooting it very hot. She's uh, no big deal. No big deal. Portland Trailblazers are back in the playoffs. So, that means School Hinder. Yes, they got bra. All right. I'm thinking Scoot Henderson take a jump. They have LeBron James, uh, LBJ, or late in his career, and they take game one. It's going to be hard to beat LeBron, even though Wimby's doing his part. Come on, Pope. You got to help Wimby. Both of our rookies had struggle of rook, uh, rookie playoff debuts. Uh, the Knicks get eliminated. That's not us. And we get to see, come on. Come on. Both teams are up. Come on. We get a game seven on one end, and then the Spurs end up advancing. And both advance, ladies and gentlemen. And they close out game, TJ with 20 and 9. And they win by 3 in OT. A good game. A very good game. Pope doesn't like he's having a great series, man. It doesn't like he's having a great playoff run. Yeah. Ugh, it's not great. He's a rook. He's a rook. You got to give him time. But now they're going against the 1C. You ain't really got that much time. You don't really got that much time. You're going against Shea and Chat, And both of them are all-stars this year. And, and Giddy's almost 90. So it's a tough It will be a very tough team to beat. Uh, you take a game. All you got to do is take a couple. Woo! All you got to do is take a couple. Conference finals? Uh, our Magic got eliminated. They got swept, by the way. So now we're focusing on the Spurs. Conference Finals appearance for our San Antonio Spurs. Wimby and Pope are there. They're going against a seven-seeded Warriors. All right, all right. Taylor Hendricks is on the team now. Okay. All right, all right. I feel good. I feel good. They are the seventh seed. Oh, they win game one. We don't have a Steph Curry, like, answer. There's no Steph Curry answers. But who knows? Oh, we're down 3-2. And they get eliminated. Oh, Curry's trying to get one last one. Can he get it? He do That's Steph Curry's best championship. Did you see that team? It was it was Brandon Pajimski. It was Moses Moody, Taylor Hendricks. They were a young team. Oh, they do got some old heads. Chris Paul does get a ring. But okay, what a run for the Spurs. What a run from the Spurs. I'm, pr I'm proud of them. I, I mean, I'm proud of the Orlando Magic too. You know, they didn't end up getting the jewelry or getting to the conference finals or anything. But, like, that's a really deep run for the Magic. Year number three, we're going in with Pope at a 90. He's a walking, he's a two-way walking bucket, by the way. What does that even mean? What, what is his actual counted stats? Not just grades. They're like this. Oh, my God, bro. Yes, walking bucket. And he might throw down on you. Oh, his, his dunk is actually not as high as it was. Okay. All right. Either way. Um, he got great post moves for, for whatever reason. Plus three, two-way, three-level glass cleaner for Mr. Bryant. He's got a 90 overall three. And then our guy uh, jumps up. To, okay, he's only a 90. He was a 90 going into the playoffs, so he didn't change much. But, like, when your stats are like this, your overall look like this, you don't really need to get that much better because you, you did all of that. An 88 steal and an 87 perimeter D. Uh, solid rebounder. And he's got he's got everything you potentially want. That's all I'm saying. He got everything you potentially want. He's got to put together some wins and some championships. That's all. That's all. We got teammates doing great things. Victor Wimbiamo is DPOI. We we are at this point where we just expect greatness. All NBA teams. Wow, there he is. He averages 22, 8, and 6. All, he's so close to 50, 40, 90 every single year. Remember, this is TJ McConnell and I'm in Thompson. That's it. You know, and, and a couple years into his career, he's almost All-NBA. Well, he is All-NBA, but almost 50-40-92. And, oh, All-NBA. Oh, my God. So, now Andrew Pope, right? That's his name. Andrew Pope is going to be the one not to make an All-NBA team. 2011, 42% from three is insane for a five-man. And he, he also hit 261 of them things. So, he got a crazy amount up and hit a bunch of them. That's that's amazing. They both have to make the playoffs, right? They all got to be in the playoffs. They all got to be in the playoffs. Um, no. Minnesota is there. But no no Spurs. DPOY didn't make the playoffs. Hello? And then two-seeded Orlando Magic, y'all. This this might be the year for the Magic, bro. This might be the year for the Magic. And then they go against 390s and Nas Reed. Nas Reed. I don't know how this team ended up being in a play -in. Good luck to our good guys. You know what I'm saying? Minnesota wins their first game. Oh, man. Oh, he's ready for the moment. He's ready for the moment. Orlando, let's get it. Game number one is a win. All right, shout out to Paolo. It's a two-man team. You know what I'm saying? We got two superstars on the roster. We're up 3-0. Oh, my God. Did we just sweep them? No, we didn't sweep them. Um, but, okay, we didn't sweep them. But, please get to the second. Thank you. So, Minnesota was the lower seed. That's why I ain't paying him too much attention. And his first... Jeremy plays here now. Oh. And his first playoff... Run. He averaged 29, 10, and 4. 
give them some time. Give them some time. Give them some better teammates. How about that? Second round for your Orlando Magic going against the New York Knicks, who have uh, almost the same exact team, but now Bobby P is back. I feel like we're better. Um, Jalen Suggs is an 87 overall. I didn't even peep that. Shout out to Jalen Suggs. Sheesh, 87 is insane. Okay, 1-1 one, one series. Come, oh, we lost home court advantage. 2-2. Two, two. Take it back. Take it back. We take home court advantage back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the conference finals. And we're going against the one seed at Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young, DeJounte, Cam Thomas. They got buckets on buckets on buckets on that team. But they're small. That's a small team, man. That's a small team. Trey Young got a guard, TJ, TJ, 6'5". Uh, Cam got a guard, Franz. Franz is 6'10". That's a small team that, that they run it. That's our advantage. They were only one game better than us in the regular season, too. Game one, we lose. I'm not surprised. You know, it's their home court. Game two, we lose. That's unfortunate. Game three. Okay, there. come on. Win at home. We're down 3-1. And we get eliminated. Dang, I thought this was a year. But you know what? I'm not tripping too much because every year we just going to get better. Every year we just, at least that's what I'm that's what I'm telling myself every year we're going to get better. No, I guess only time will tell. This this will tell, actually. Not time not going to tell, but the playoff progression is going to tell. Okay, 92. We'll take, I guess. Um, it's not ideal. Not ideal. 92. Okay, 93. Okay, Pope, it's your time, man. Everybody else that made an All-NBA team, you kind of just sitting around. Like, you had a good year. Don't get me wrong. But, like, the other guys have made playoff appearances, All-NBA appearances. Like, we waiting on you to do the same thing. And then up three, 91 for Nick Bryant. All right, so everybody's progressing well. We'll take that. When are they gonna win the big awards, man? When are they gonna win the big awards? I'm I'm waiting. No, you know what? Problem is they not the guys just yet. You see, they not even really on All-NBA first teams. Second teams for both of them. So they're getting better, at least uh, Bryant is. He was third team last year. Whew. Bro, these guys are insane. Yeah, they're both getting better. We, we I gotta chill, because we only talk about 22 year olds at this point. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they've been in the league for 20 years. But we, we do got an odd man out. That man just won't make a team. Mm -mm -mm. The Spurs in himself just make the play-in. So that's part of it. You don't get DPOY and an All-NBA player. 21 and a half, 7 and 3 and a half. Almost 50, 40, 90. He's having a good year. But it's just, again, compared to the other two dudes, he's kind of left in the dust. He's a 95, though. I think he's, he's the highest overall of them, too. Yeah, 92 overall for Nick. And then 94 with a boost for TJ. So he's the highest overall, but he's also playing with Wimby. You would think that's a good thing, but apparently that's bad because they can't make it past the play-in, I, I guess. I guess there's a chance that our guys play against each other. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see how this works. Minnesota's there. Come on, please. Please, Spurs. Oh, my God. They're playing against each other. I was waiting for this moment. We're simcasting this. We need to see them go against each other. We got to see them go against each other, y'all. Whoo! Now, of course, there are different p positions and everything. Of course. I don't care. These are two legends on the court together. Pot potential legends on the court together. Please be a close. Doesn't like it's a close game unless a big run comes. I just saw. Um, over time, the Spurs scored seven points and lost. You cannot score seven points in the fourth quarter in a win and go home game, Mr. Pope. That's why, that's why you don't make an All-NBA team. Okay, so... Uh, both of our teams made it uh, over there. We got Orlando. We ain't paying attention to Orlando. They gotta, they gotta make some noise before we start paying attention. You feel me? Oh, look at it. we beat the one seed. Hey, good stuff is happening. Good stuff is happening. If they meet in the finals, I know it's eight seed, so it's not likely. But if they meet in the finals, that would be ideal. I, no, they're not because we got swept. But Minnesota is one game away from the conference finals. I swear, they did it. Eight seed to conference finals going against the defending champion. I think the same one last year. Or how did they add Jaron? That is an unbeatable team. They added Jaron to the already really good OKC Thunder. Game one is a Thunder win. Yeah, bro. We're never going to win a championship. We're going to play these guys' entire careers. None of them are going to win a championship. I've accepted the fact. I've, I've accepted it. I've accepted it, which is fine. I love to watch their careers. But boy, I thought that, you know, we would get a chance at least. I don't know what's going on, but I'm hoping that this is the this is the year for an MVP. No, I ain't looking at stats. I'm just simu I'm just simulating, but I'm watching this Orlando Magic team win a bunch of games. Now, of course, they've been a 2 seed two years in a row, so they're accustomed to winning games. These scores are looking really good. Is there an opportunity for this brother to win MVP? He's going against Jokic. He's going he's going against Luka Shagir Alexander. He's going against all the guys you know and love today that that are currently Real life going for MVPs, but but I feel I feel solid. I feel solid. We need to win a bunch of games this last two weeks. Never, they're just re resulting in losing. There you go. There's a nice win streak. Get us to 54 wins, baby. Ah, we don't get there. Hey, what did I say? 
26 and a half, nine and seven, two steals, 50, 40, 90. It happened. TJ McConnell and Amen Thompson. And the reason he progressed so well is because we gave him Amen Thompson's potential because they're a combination of the two. So that it, what the heck? Bro, you got drafted in 2023. Dang, you just averaged 18? All right, well, um, he got, he just, that's like four years ago. He was drafted stats for four years. All right, um, well, we said championship or major award, didn't we? We said championship or major award. And our guys are here, two of them at least. Again, the Wiggins slash, who was it? Contavious Caldwell Pope when wasn't built for it, you know? He wasn't built for it. Oh my God, they were only a three seed. I thought they were winning way more than that. Either way, the Spurs have a chance to make the playoffs and they do, that's great. I do wanna watch him play one time. He is the MVP of our league. I'm gonna simcast every game until they either win or get eliminated and hope that we get one close game. First round is done. No close games in that one. They even dropped 140 in this one. So MVP didn't even have to really do much. So first round was, it was a dud. That's fine, that's fine. Who would have thought that a, a combination of Nick Richards and Thomas Bryant would make all NBA teams? Like that's kind of wild when you really think about it. We got a game, two point game, two minutes to go versus the Detroit Pistons. The Pistons were a seven seed. They ended up beating the three seed. Um, we got to have a Sar Thompson at the free throw line to start off with. And our guy is in the game. He's wearing the number seven. What type of game he's having? 27, four and four, only one turnover, seven for seven for three. I'm, I'm just saying, seven, seven for seven for three. I'm just, I'm just seven for seven, you know? Whoo! All right, here's some big free throws, I guess. High game, two minutes to go. So it is Thompson, it is Monk, it's Bancaro, Wagner, and it is Clint Capella on the court. There's a screen for Malik Monk, and there's a down screen for number seven. Number seven, he's seven for seven for three. Let's see what he do with the ball. He's been guarded by Kay Cunningham. Jab step. Seven seconds or eight seconds, seven seconds now to get something done. Here, here is a Palo pick. Pop. Palo Bancaro for three. No good. 30% contested by the Detroit Pistons. All right. Thompson gives it into Jay Knight, who gives it into Dante Kaminga, who just moves Palo out of the way. A minute and a half to go. Don't play through Malik Monk. You have the MVP of the league. Look at him playing corners. Go get the ball, seven. There it is. He coming up. Give him the ball, Malik. Oh, that's a nice shot, too. Franz Wagner gives the, the Orlando Magic a lead in game one of the second round, baby. Look at the wings. Look at the wingspan on Thompson. Remember, he got a Amin Thompson's defense, too. So don't sleep. He going to sit in that chair. He going to get stops. I hope. I, I hope. I hope. He going to get stops and boards. Come on. Run it. Run it. Give it up to Paolo Bencaro. He's an unselfish player. Paolo with a terrible shot. But it goes in. 55% contested goes in is wild. I'd be really mad if that hit against me. But whatever. Three-point game a minute to go. Look at the wingspan, man. He got like pterodactyl arms. Nobody's scoring on him. You think you're stronger than him, Cade? Where are you going? Where are you going, Cade? Where are you going? Seven is like that. That's my MVP. He, get, he ain't scoring like that, though. He's a playmaker. He's a playmaker first, I guess. Paolo Bencaro can ice the game, potentially. No good. No good. Good defense by Jonathan Kaminga. All right, they're going to give it up to their guy, Asar Thompson. Asar, pull up midi. It goes in. One point game, 30 seconds to go. Stop playing through Malik Monk. Coach, what are we doing? Come on, Mosley. Like, this is not the way to play. You got the MVP in the corner. Give him to him right now. See, he keep going Franz's way. He's, is, he, is he mad at our guy, TJ? Okay, there's another down screen for Paolo. He couldn't ice the game. The MVP of the league did not touch the ball on a potentially game, like, winning possession. Luckily... That brother plays a lot of defense. Uh-oh. He's a little bit smaller than Kate, though. He's a little bit smaller than Kate. That's a good shot from Kate. He missed it. Rebound, Robert Williams. No way Robert Williams just walked this off. No way. No way. Clint Capella, your whole job is to close possessions. Clint Capella, 13 boards on the night, but he couldn't get that one. We lose game one. Like, 0.2 seconds is not enough time to get a real shot up. You got to throw a lot. Got to throw a lot, Mr. Wagner. You're not going to, though, because 2K is not smart enough to do that. Um, is Seven going to get the ball? No. Nope. He's just going to hold it. He's going to give it up to Paolo. Not enough time. Wow. This is what happened when you don't give the MVP of the league the ball. He played MVP level defense the entire time we watched. He ended up with 27. He didn't take one shot when we got in there. That's crazy. But can he double up? 
win a championship and win an MVP, that would be ideal for this video. But no matter what, this is the last year because we end up winning the MVP. 3-1 series down, and they get eliminated by the seventh seed. Yikes. Well, Mr. MVP, you struggled in playoffs compared to... Oh, man. They on ESPN talking about you, MVP. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. Uh, that was pretty cool, though. We combined a bunch of different role players and created two All-NBA players. And the one that didn't make All-NBA was the highest overall. It makes no sense. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.